All right. Today's lesson is a continuation of the last tutorial where we talked about the first position of the major scale. Like I told you before, the major scale is the foundation of all music theory. In fact, it is the foundation on which chords are built, progressions are formed, and other scales, arpeggios, whatever you want to call it in music. So as a beginner, you need to pay serious attention to these scale positions. It's going to help you master the guitar fretboard. All right. On today's lesson, we are going to talk about the second position. Second position. Recall that the first position was do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, 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 we are still going to use our metronome on 40 BPM. Today we'll be starting on Re. These shapes are movable, so if you grab it on key G, you can move it to any key of your choice. All right, so take note of the fingerings. It is very, very important because this shape is not as stable as the first one. So this one is moving back and forth. As we go on, you understand what I mean. So we are going to start our array with our first finger. Re, mi, fa, so, la, fi, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, fi, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, fi, do, 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 Okay, so like I said, take note of the fingerings. This is, we are starting with first finger on Re, Re, then a whole step to B with your fourth finger or your ring finger. Then your pinky is playing Fa, which is a half step. Remember what uh, the intervals we talked about earlier? So, me fa. Your pinky is playing that far, your fourth finger. Your fourth finger is your pinky. Then your index finger, your first finger is still playing so, 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 so. On the uh, string five, fifth fret. Your fourth finger, yeah, your pinky is playing far. Remember the first one. Your first finger played Re, your third finger, your ring finger played B, your pinky played Fa, then your first finger played So. Here, instead of using your third finger to play La, you're now using your pinky because this is going to shift. Your first finger is going to shift to T. First string, fourth fret. So first finger plays T. Then your second finger or your middle finger plays do. So you see the shift. Re mi fa so pinky la. Then this one shifts T do. Then your pinky plays re. Finger on the next string plays me. Then the second finger plays fa. Your pinky plays so. Then your first finger is shifting back to its original position on the next string. La 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 la. Then your third finger is playing. Then your pinky lights on. Your first finger. Your third finger. 
and your pinky. We're going to apply a, a metronome on 40 BPM. 40 BPM. So let's see how we're going to move with it. One. So one note per click. Let's go. Click one, two, one, two. Okay, so go ahead and practice with your metronome and make sure you increase the speed as you get comfortable with, with 40 BPM. Increase it and increase it until you get to 100 BPM. And as you do this, of course, if you're conversant with the first position and the second position, you find yourself being able to navigate through the two positions. And as we go on and go on to the fifth position, before long, you find yourself mastering the scales on the guitar fretboard. All right, thank you. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. In the next video, we'll be dealing with the third position. Good luck to you all. Bye. Thank you.